We have our BIDX version 3 board all assembled and we're doing some testing here. Right now we're trying to balance, adjust the balance modulator. Let's take a look at what we got on the scope. Okay, what we're seeing here, here's our upper side band, here's our carrier that we want to null out. And what are these guys? That's a lower side band. This is the second harmonic of the modulation frequency and that's the third. We're going to fix that problem later on because we're going to make a modification to the mic amp circuit. But for right now, if you build the original circuit, that's what you're going to get if you put much modulation in. So let's see if we can adjust the balance pot. Okay, there's more. There, there's the minimum and then it goes to more. I finally broke down and put a 10 turn pot on this one so I can adjust it nicely. So all we're getting is about 30 dB of carrier suppression. That's not worth a darn. Let's try something. Let's just switch the diode's position. Okay, I switched the one that was in the top down to the bottom and the one in the bottom to the top. You see, we can see that it's different. Say, why do we do that? Well, each diode's got its own characteristics, especially when they're not matched. So we may end up with a, be able to adjust this better now. So now I'm going to adjust it wrong way. Ooh, that got quite a bit better. That was the same diodes. Now see, now we have about 35 dB of carrier suppression. So you say, oh great, let's just stop right there. Well, you could but let's try something else. Let's try a different pair of diodes. Okay, I've got them in and I'm sitting about 25 dB of carrier suppression. These are two new different diodes. I'm going to adjust. So I can get a... Ooh, that's looking better. Now that looks a lot better. We're 10, 20, 30 we're about 50 dB of carrier suppression there and we got it simply by changing diodes it matched a little better so carrier's gone right now here's the lower side band and here's the second harmonic of the modulation frequency I'm using one kilohertz so that's two kilohertz that's three kilohertz it's down 10, 20, 30, 40 dB down but we don't need it to be there uh, right at this point I'm only putting in 10 millivolts of modulation frequency so on the BIDX kit I usually test it with 50 millivolts so we're going to modify that amplifier a little later on but in the meantime what you've seen here is an example of just trying to change diodes and if you're doing it on the oscilloscope what you would be doing would be just monitoring and tuning for a minimum amount of voltage out at 14 megahertz with no modulation with just the carrier there and if you after you get the best you can try tr switching diodes around and then if you have uh, some extras try switching some different pairs in so you can get some good carrier suppression